Hey guys, how are you? Happy Wednesday and welcome to the Bella Insider. I'm excited because we're going to actually do something a little bit different this week. I have Jessica and Jennifer joining me and we have been talking a lot in the office lately about hot topics and uh, you know since we're in media and we're you know always covering the celebrities and what's going on, um, we were talking about a few really timely topics that we wanted to share with you our opinions. I actually haven't discussed any of this with the girls yet, so I'm gonna be finding out what they feel about, I guess, the most trending topics right now. So hey guys, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? I'm good, good. Happy thank you for having time. us on your show. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you for being on your show. Well, you know what? I really like um, talking about like, trending topics in the office, even though Dan's like, do your work, stop talking about trending topics. But you know what? I feel that there are a lot of things that um, are being talked about right now that maybe have been going on for a long time that a lot of people haven't been aware of, myself included. So I know that I saw um, Surviving R. Kelly last week. Yes. And um, I know it's been around from what I've heard for a long time, but I, I don't know if I just wasn't a fan or I just didn't care, but I really didn't know about it. And then I watched Lifetime Surviving R. Kelly, and like I'm still trying to pick my job off the floor. So I asked you guys if you would watch it over the weekend, and... Um, I'm just dying to hear your thoughts. I mean, basically, I want to start by saying that in this day and age, the fact that anyone who's wealthy and famous could even be um, allowed to get away with something so insane, I don't understand. I know that everyone's talking about it right now. Um, but I want to get your thoughts because we're from different generations, all of us, and I think all of us um, know him a little bit differently. So you guys watched it. Like, yeah. What did you think? I mean, I think... First of all, just you saying that it is so important to talk about trending topics. I realized watching this documentary, the power that the social media has in the world today. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I was around for these things and I was in high school and I was listening to his music and I didn't know a lot of the things that were going on were going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. And, you know, I was sitting and watching it with someone and they were like, yeah, but think about it now. If something happens, people are tweeting it. It's mm -hmm. on Instagram. You know immediately and That's it's right. there forever. It doesn't mm -hmm. go away. Whereas back then when, you know, these allegations started coming out and things were happening, it might be on the news once and then it's off and you forget. Mm -hmm. So right. I'm watching this and I, you know, I heard different things throughout R. Kelly's history about his background and the things that he was doing, but I didn't realize the extent of it. Mm -hmm. So I think it is so important that we talk about it because now we can and now people know that these things are going on and it's finally getting the media attention that it deserves mm -hmm. because Absolutely. people need to hear this and they haven't for so long. There's not a song on earth that I can't live without to the point where, you know what, I know what he's doing, but I'm going to listen to it. Like, no, that's not. Exactly. At the end of the day, you're, you're a singer, a songwriter. You're not, you know, you're not curing cancer and I can live without your music and exactly. I know who you are, so I don't want it. You know, in my life. Yeah, I want exactly. to more my money. Right. So, yeah, so that is our first hot topic. I know it's hot everywhere, but this is just kind of our insight on it. I think it's very similar to what I would hope most people are feeling. But now that we brought up social media, something on the lighter side of things, which I think is equally as stupid, <laughs> is the egg. What is that? My kids come running into me last night, Mom, you must like the egg. I'm like, what's the egg? Why? It's a post, I'm sure you all know. On Instagram, whoever did it wanted more than the most likes ever, and I think they got it. They so did. You guys are much more into that. So what's happening with the egg? I I need some explaining too. I'm hoping this will help. Yeah, I have no idea. I know that you know Kylie Jenner. I guess had the most likes on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So yeah, someone's yeah. trying to stop that. And there's an egg. I literally went to the egg's page. It's just the picture of the egg. No, I don't know what it means. I don't know where it came from. It's the only post. It's the only photo. I don't know where it came from. Who started it? Why an egg? I don't know what it means, so I would like to figure it out. I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I read about it this morning, and I thought it was like, the craziest thing because I hadn't really seen it or anything. And I just saw it this morning that like it had just broken like thirty million likes. Yeah. Which is like crazy when you think about Kylie's 
Kylie was like the first top, like most liked picture. She had the picture of like Stormy when, I, when no one even knew when she was pregnant. No one knew she was pregnant. And I think she had no idea. Well, she had, she had she it very well, well, but everyone yeah. was very suspicious. It's like, you can't just get out of the blind line for nine months and just like be like, I'm not pregnant. Like, so <laughs> she had Stormy. She posted a picture of Stormy. Stormy gets what? 18 million likes, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know. I think I saw it was posted on maybe like January 4th. So maybe it's from like a few weeks now. Bye. I don't know how it spread like wildfire. It's got to be the hashtags, the liking, the commenting, just how you normally like, you know, grow your following on Instagram. But it must have but, just caught fire somewhere. But, someone had to talk about that it. I don't know what. That is what I don't understand. It like, sense. how does a picture of an egg from an unknown poster I no go idea. viral? I mean, I don't know. It's so crazy. I, don't, I can't, I can't explain it. It's but, a weird time to be in. It is yeah. a weird time to be in, you know? It's, but I think that that even says a lot it's like so 30 million people are going to react to a picture of an egg but not like you know a social issue mm -hmm. banning our like what does that say about people mm -hmm. so all right so the egg thing random but it's happening yeah. so the next hot topic which you know i have always been such a huge fan of princess die and the royal family i mean i've followed them my whole life, I watched every wedding, even Princess Dies, when I was probably 11. I woke up at like 4 in the morning, and my mom was like, oh dear, you know what I'm saying? But I loved it, and you know, so I've always followed them, but I do feel like a lot of social media now is kind of turning against Meghan Markle. What do you guys think about that? But like, I don't understand, like, why is like the thing? It's like, whether she is this way or not in real life, like, you, you can never know, but... Why do we like have this like beautiful narrative that we loved her and then it all of a sudden changed? It makes no sense. Well, I mean, I think that, you know, unfortunately, people love to build someone up and rip them right down, you know? I mean, and now she's pregnant and, you know, she's in that family forever because mm -hmm. she's having one of the heirs of the British throne. And I just feel like, I don't know, everyone's just ripping her apart. I actually feel bad for her. Yeah, it's a shame because... And obviously, like, since the beginning, you would hear things here and there about how maybe, you know, she didn't do things traditionally and wasn't, you know, she had her shoulders exposed or what have you. And But people loved her because she was. It made you feel like, oh, well, I could be a princess one day. You know what I mean? Like, no, she was there, the girl next door. door. That's the like, where's like, my right. Like, right. Mm -hmm. So, but just like you said, I mean, she was, you know, we all loved her. We all watched the wedding. It was so exciting. And now, like, people just need a reason, I guess, to hate her. And there was always different drama revolve, you know, involving her family and mm -hmm. her dad and things like that. But that's a lot of drama. Nowadays, like anyone in the spotlight, you know, anyone famous, anyone, you know, people that have their eyes on them, they're going to make mistakes and there's going to be things that come out. But when you're, you know, a Kardashian and you do something crazy or ridiculous, it's okay. Mm -hmm. When you're the royal family, like, you're under such scrutiny, like there's such strict yeah. rules and, and things that you have to follow and practices. So you know, you can't mess up and you have to be absolutely perfect all the time. So I can only imagine, you know, the scrutiny that she's under and I'm sure it's horrible. I mean, I don't know her, but we have to also understand that these people are human beings and, I, you know what I mean? If your life was under a microscope, there'd be things that people I'm sure would, you know, bash you for. Or, I mean, it's hard, so. No, of course. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed our, our little in-office hot topics. A little gossip. Right? <laughs> well, you know what? Like, I feel like... It's also always talking about the magazine, which you can pick up at Barnes & Noble nationwide now. But it's also um, a lot of people feel the media is very one-sided and very this. And you know what? There's all different media, and we're just a part of the New York and LA markets. And we just want to say that we're in it, and these are our feelings on it. And we would love to hear your feedback. Yeah, and your hot topics. If there's that's things right. that you guys want to talk about or want us to discuss, and Send them in. Send them our way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whatever they may be, we're ready to talk. All right. Good, guys. Well, have a great Wednesday, and we will see you on next week's Bella Insider. Have a good one.